Hello, and welcome to installment three of our seven episode video course, Cheap Labor Will Cost You More. Here, we're going to discuss whether you can really hire someone at $3 an hour and actually get quality work. See, the problem is that too many business owners aim for quantity rather than quality. They go out and find the lowest, rock bottom, dirt cheap labor they can find, hire a small army of them, mysteriously get rid of the few who actually have any sense, probably because, well, they cost more, <laughs> give them some crappy phones, a few pre-configured scripts, 90 minutes of training, and voila! We've all heard the horror stories, or have experienced the dark side with regards to outsourced labor. You know what I'm referring to. The frustrating and gratuitously lengthy phone calls to tech support to help you with your computer problem, where you think you'll be speaking with qualified support personnel, only to discover that you've been pawned off on someone who knows nothing about your broken computer other than the brand name that's written on their prepared script. After about 45 minutes of re-explaining the basics of why you called to begin with, being put on hold every two minutes, being transferred to at least four different departments, to each of whom you must start over and re-identify the nature of your call, get put on hold some more, etc. And you're ready to pull your hair out, along with somebody else's. Now what could be possibly worse than that? Well this can. Nearly 100% of the time, your issue still remains unresolved by the time you wind up just hanging up out of frustration. Frustrated not only at the fact that your problem isn't fixed yet, but also at the fact you're going to have to do it all over again the next opportunity you may have to carve out of your day so that you can participate in your own punishment. So now that you've been reminded of one of the biggest headaches since the invention of the auto dialer, do you really want to subject yourself or your customers to the same things that have driven you bat crazy in the past? Hint, the correct answer is no. So how can cheap labor cost you more? Well, let's see. If you anger your existing customers by making their experience with you a hassle, they're likely to leave your company for one of your competitors. It happens all the time. It's no secret that in this competitive marketplace, gaining a customer can actually be the toughest part of the business relationship. Don't make it tough to keep your customers too. The cheaper the labor, the more likely it is that the performance is going to reflect the cost. We all know the saying, you get what you pay for. Well, that's true for many areas of business, and this scenario is no different. There's a reason that some products and services cost more than others. Although they may appear to be the same or similar, you usually find out why there's a difference in price, many times immediately. If your bargain basement hired help is incapable of properly completing the tasks you assign to them, and things constantly have to be redone, or you have to fire them and hire replacements, you can see how this low-cost labor can quickly add up, not just from the wallet, but in lost time and lost productivity as well. That can be enough to slow your business down, and in extreme cases actually cause it to grind to a screeching halt. Picture this. Imagine if an automobile factory hired a crew of general laborers to work in their quality control department rather than actually hiring qualified engineers and specialists, all due to difference in cost. Now, that sounds like a silly question, doesn't it? What company would be foolish enough to trust the lifeblood of their business to a group of non-qualified workers? Now, although this is less likely to actually happen in the auto industry, many other types of businesses have already adopted this erroneous mentality. For some, it's not a big deal just to keep pumping money into a flawed business model and hope to make it up in volume. But for others, it can actually have detrimental effects on their businesses. Local businesses are where it's most prevalent, as word of mouth travels very quickly within the confines of a small town or a city. Don't use Joe Blow's heating and air. They can't seem to figure out what's wrong with my air conditioner. Even after three service calls, or I used Billy Bob's moving service and the Neanderthal handyman broke all my antique furniture. Why did Joe Blow's heating and air and Billy Bob's moving service have such a bad reputation in their town? Probably because they use non or less than qualified laborers to perform duties that should be performed by experienced and skilled workers. Now this is just an example of a couple of small businesses who cater to local customers only. Now imagine that same kind of reputation, but on a regional, a national, or even a global scale. I don't think that I really have to elaborate any further on this. Quite simply, you do not want to be another Joe Blow's Heating and Air or Billy Bob's Moving Service. 
Join us for our next video when we discuss how a virtual assistant can work for you and your business. Thanks for watching.